Hello tech friends. Today I've got something. It's smaller than a laptop. It's bigger than a PDA. What is it? It's a netbook. And this one's made by Asus. Asus. A-S-U-S. This is an A-S-U-S. <laughs> E-E-E PC. What do those E's stand for? Apparently it was an advertising slogan that's supposed to stand for easy to learn, easy to work, easy to play. And this one is from about 2007. Let me just show you just how small this is. This is nine inches across, or if we're getting European, 22 and a half centimeters by about 16 centimeters, which is about six inches absolutely tiny although it is quite thick it's it's almost an inch thick <laughs> let's have a little look around the side on the right side we've got a sd card slot two usb two uh, ports and we've got a vj out and a kensington lock pretty advanced on the back all we've got is the power adapter socket there this battery is practically dead as you might imagine but we can still power it with that on the other side we've got a land socket we've got a phone uh, socket there as well but that is blanked out and then we've got another usb2 that's great it's got three usb2 sockets on it that's pretty generous i think and uh we've got a microphone socket and a headphone socket so that is pretty good let's pop this open and as you can see, we've got a full QWERTY keyboard. No messing around there. I mean, you know, for a laptop anyway. We've got a little, tiny little trackpad. And we've got a we've got a little button down here. And hey, we've got lights that are flashing. So um, well, uh, let's turn it on and, and take a closer look. Okay, here we go. We're turning it on. I'm hitting F2 so I can get into the BIOS and show you what that looks like. I'm repeatedly tapping it. I'm tap, tap, tapping away. Uh, I'm pressing it until my finger goes uh, blue. Here we go. We're in. Okay, here we are on the BIOS screen. We can see, yes, indeed, build date 2007. We've got the processor, Intel Celeron M processor. How many have we got? One. When do we want it? Now, uh, obviously. System memory installed size 512 megabytes. Hey, you don't need any more than that. Not for Not for this sort of age. So this is going to be all right. If I scroll over to advanced, this is a bit unusual. We've got an option here that says OS installation finished. Please switch the option back to finish once the OS installation is complete. So that must be some sort of setup process. Um, I'll probably break it if I change that. So maybe I won't, uh, certainly before I've shown you the rest of it. We've got something here called a boot booster. <laughs> it's, it, it's disabled. Why wouldn't you enable the boot booster? Um, an onboard LAN boot ROM, if we were going to uh, load an OS from the LAN, I guess, but I haven't been able to get the LAN working really or the wireless connection. So let's just boot this up and we'll have a look inside at what we've got. Are we going to get Windows here? What version of Windows? No, 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 no. We're talking Linux, of course. I don't know what version of Linux this is based on, um, but... Linux it most certainly is, and there's a few telltale signs that that's the case. Uh, one involves a penguin. So look out for that in, in just a moment. Um, ju it just flashed up there and said Zeus Launcher, and, then it, and now we're in this sort of menu system. So I suspect this is kind of on top of the actual OS, and there may be a way of getting to like what, what's running underneath. Um, but I haven't been able to find that. So uh, let me just talk you through this screen before we look at some of the other ones in a bit more detail we've got the internet here we've got webmail we've got web we've got iGoogle was that the the Google homepage you built yourself messenger presume that's MSN messenger Skype Wikipedia a world clock you always need that don't you a link to Google Docs uh, they haven't shut that down yet ebooks networks internet radio we don't really listen to internet radio in this sort of way anymore, do we? It's all BBC Sounds and stuff like that and podcasts and the like and wireless networks. As I say, I've struggled to get the internet connection uh, working on here. Um, I guess it's because this doesn't have the right security levels for most modern uh, connections. Um, but there's still plenty of other things to have a look at. Look, we've got these other tabs. Work, learn, play. It's like a Mars bar advert, settings and favourites. Let's have a look, first of all, at work. We've got inside a subfolder of accessories, we've got a calculator. 
got to have a calculator, haven't you, on any computer system. Um, but does your calculator take this long to start up on yours? Maybe it does. Um, but once it's once it's up and running, it's a beast. Uh, let's uh, just do some maths. There we go, 11. Um, so look at this window. So I can move these windows around. That's fine. That's just like a regular operating system. But does that remind you of Windows XP or what? That, that little uh, red X in the minimize button. If I go to help and about, this is actually kcalc that's running here. So it's definitely not Windows, but it's funny that they've kind of copied the way Windows Windows work. Windows Windows work. That's a perfectly reasonable sentence. Um, what else have we got in here? We've got PIM. PIM, what's that? What does PIM stand for? Personal Information Manager, maybe? Something like that. Ah, Personal Information Manager. Well, it's like I've looked this up before. Uh, this is actually K Organizer. So it's they're giving things slightly different names. Um, and anything where you've got the old K, it's like KDE related. So, and you, again, you can see these sort of Windows XP bits. But I do like the fact the mouse is nice and big. That's great for you guys at home to be able to view it as well. Um, you can change your view. You could obviously book, you know, make calendar appointments, all that sort of stuff. Um, it's doing quite a lot with what I would consider to be a very small screen. So this is kind of the equivalent Look, we've got mail here. This is the equivalent of Microsoft Outlook, really. Uh, we've got screen capture, pretty straightforward what that's going to do. And then we've got our office suite here. So we've got documents, spreadsheets, presentations. Let's open up spreadsheets. I don't get to show off spreadsheets enough on this channel. And that, I think everyone will agree, is a crying shame. Uh, that's me stalling while it takes a while to load. Here we go. Hey, it works. Um, we've got it, it, this. It, the keyboard layout. If I just show you this one little bit here, uh, it starts two, three, four. You'd kind of expect the number one to sort of be around there, but it's right on the edge. So it's a bit of an unusual place to uh, put these things. Um, let's do these two numbers here. 50 and 1, can he do an auto sum for us? Oh, probably not because I've done it in the wrong <laughs> the wrong field. Do I just do it here? Will it figure that out? Yes, indeed. Great stuff. Uh, so that's um, Open Office Calculator. So that's the entire Open Office suite. And you can save stuff in a variety of format. And it looks like it's got some sort of PDF. Yeah, there we are. Export directly as PDF. That would have been pretty nifty back in 2007, I would say. I always used to have to do things like printing to PDFs. We've even got a PDF reader on here. We've got a dictionary. But look at this, the file manager. We can actually see what is going on hard disk wise uh, by looking at this. And it's a, you know, you've got my home, but then you've got things like my documents. And this kind of looks windowsy. Uh, I think they've gone for a bit of a hybrid sort of view. Um, you can connect to different network things if your LAN thing worked. <laughs> um, and also up here, what is this one actually? It just says file manager. Um, I can go to tools and I can open the console. And here is said console. You'd probably be used to seeing that um, with a black screen and, and white text, but this does work. And if I type in VER to get version is it do i type in version uh there's something you type isn't there what is it typically although i didn't know what it was immediately there are about 200 different ways that you can actually uh, find out what version of of linux you've uh, <laughs> you've got right let's try you name hyphen r and it says 2.6.21.4 hyphen e e e p c not very helpful okay let's come out of that um, right, what else have we got? So let's, that's the file manager. Obviously got dictionary and notes and things. But hey, what have we got over here? We've got learn. What's under science? We've got the periodic table and a planetarium. What? Every computer should have the periodic table in by default. Look at this. Can I click on these things and it'll tell me a bit about it? Yeah, we've got rhenium here. And it tells us some information. Oh, and there's a picture of it in a jar. Um, let's see. What's AC? AC is Anctinium. Can we see the picture of that? No picture found. 
Oh, that's it's slightly disappointing, isn't it? Um, so you've got information, uh, you know, about the periodic table. Very useful. And then we've got a planetarium. Let's open this up. Oh, this is called K stars. And we're loading star data. Well, there's a lot of stars, aren't there? So it'll probably take a while. Um, but on we go, loading constellations as well. Let's see what this looks like. I can't believe on a tiny little screen like this, this is going to be dazzling. But hey, maybe I'm being a little bit negative there. So it says, click the next button. I can barely see it. Um, let's say we're in Mississippi. Um, let's not download any extra data because we're going to struggle to get on the internet. And what have we got here? Can I move the screen around? Oh yeah, we can. Look at that. So I imagine that based on whatever time um, of the year you're in and time of day and location on the earth, it could present to you what the constellations would look like and uh, whether you can see them or not at all. Um, and you can probably, what does that say? Toggle solar system. So you can probably spot particular um, planets. Can I zoom out so you can get a better look at the, at the night sky? Yeah, come on. That is very cool, wouldn't you say? Um, I think that's that is a very cool addition on something this. And I, and I imagine these things came with it, right? I, I don't think someone's loaded these in um, as extras. Okay, play. Well, we've got media player, music manager, photo manager, video manager, webcam, sound recorder. Uh, I imagine the sound recorder is not going to be great. Um, let's just go into games, right? Okay, this is what we're here for. We've got Solitaire, Monemesis, Frozen Bubble, Crack Attack, Penguin Racer. I mentioned it right, you know, the old penguin. Tux. We've got Sudoku. We've got... P <laughs> we've got Potato Guy. <laughs> and we've got Eltris. All right, let me just quickly show you Penguin Racer, right? Because this is... this is class. Uh, let's just hit... we're going into the Herring Cup. Um, let's just keep hitting enter and here he is he's getting ready to go we're going downhill and am I picking these up no wait I'm picking up the fish here we go I'm picking up the fish um, I'm just oh it's uh, this is pretty great I'm picking up speed here notice that it's in kilometers an hour uh, per hour uh, so yeah I'm, I'm picking up those fish I don't know whether that makes me go faster or um, whether it's sort of, I mean, it's, it, it's basically Mario Kart. There we go. We're finishing. There we go. I didn't advance. That's awful. And I was, I wasn't flying for any percentage of the time there. Okay. Let's come out of that. Um, so that's Penguin Racer. Should we find out about Potato Guy? I don't know about this one. Uh, uh, I mean, I guess, <laughs> I guess I probably should have figured it out. So, um, let's give him a, a pig's nose we'll give him a couple of ears and um, some eyes it's looking a little bit disturbing here do we have a mouth yes let's have a mouth oh not happy um, and he's uh, oh, there's a watch <laughs> where would he wear that uh, on his upper arm oh and look we've got some eyebrows um, there we go. What an absolute vision of uh, artistic beauty there. What's this playground bit? Oh, we've got Potato Guy, but we've also got a Penguin. It's Tux, he's back! Um, gosh, he, doesn't he look sinister without any eyes? <laughs> look at the guy. Well, firstly, he needs to be dressed for work. Pop that on, sunshine. And then uh, his eyes. You've got to give a Penguin... Oh, he doesn't look happy, does he? No. Looks quite angry, maybe because we're mucking about with him. Here, have a top hat. Have a top hat. Maybe that's his uh, um, problem, that he doesn't feel dressed enough. No, nope, still looks pretty unhappy. Uh, not sure what that is. Is that supposed to be his hair? Or a hat? Um, okay, and what was the other one? <laughs> Got an aquarium. Mm, very small, isn't it? Well, anyway, there's a fish in it. Brilliant. Uh, so that's Potato Guy. Uh, and we've got Tetris as well. We'll just have a quick look at that, shall we? Um, Eltris. I'm glad to say that gaming on Linux has come on leaps and bounds. 
um you know with the uh, steam deck and uh, proton and all that stuff we are laughing now um but uh let's just get a let's just get a line there we go proof that i can play tetris okay right what else have we got on here we have got settings we've got antivirus we can adjust volume personalization date and time this uh, diagnosis tool bit here is uh is pretty cool um it can do a system test of basically everything to see whether it's all working um so i think that's quite a handy little thing there and uh let's have a look under system info it says memory site oh, where's the uh what about the hard drive um what's that four gigabytes it looks like and i can't hear the hard drive so i think it's solid state 2007 is quite a long time ago if that was the case um but there we go if i click back on home where does it take me doesn't take me anywhere i guess i am home already <laughs> uh, and you can you can save things in uh in your favorites um what's this one that says typing because that didn't appear in the games one that's because it's not a game it's educational uh right fish cascade medium got signed on this one medium words and we are ready typing in those words as they appear this is great quite difficult to type on the tiny little keyboard though but if this was designed for kids maybe apart from the uh the work section of the menu then you're gonna get everything you uh everything you dream of here this uh, this to me is look he's eating the fish because you've managed to spell it correctly you're feeding tucks there he is all over this um i oh, i can't spell i mean that's kind of the whole point of the game isn't it to be able to spell um i hope this was the inspiration for typing of the dead um and mavis beacon is probably looking at this thinking why on earth didn't i um didn't i <laughs> didn't i build a game like this to help people type so there we go i think that is quite a smart little device you've got quite a lot of functionality there you know you've got paint uh and we can indeed do some painting i suspect i mean there's loads i mean it's basically i'm showing you a um a uh a pc aren't i um but it's it's unusual because it's small um and uh yeah there we go that is the asus eee -E -E pc thanks for watching